Okay, hi and welcome to the Boss Constructor re um, Progress Report for February 2015. As usual, I will give a brief report and a brief update of what I've done in the past month. And um, in case you don't follow the um, patch notes, every patch you can get a good overview over what has been happening and what new features you can find in the game. Okay, so the biggest update has probably been the research system which I've added. The research system allows you to earn research points by playing the exploration mode and you can spend these research points to unlock new modules. And of course in the future there will be more modules here in order to fill the research tree. But until then you can you now have an additional incentive to play the exploration mode. The second change is the addition of the skirmish mode, which is like a supplement to the randomly generated sectors and which allows you to set up your own battle based on, you know, general map parameters based on allied ships and enemy ships and to play it any way you like. Next, it was a pretty much often requested feature. You can now export ships which you have generated in the evolution mode and you know play around with them put them in your skirmish mode or open them in the editor to see what the evolution has created next you can now have multiple save files for the exploration mode so you do not no longer have to either manually rename the save files or you know, you lose all your progress if you start a new game and want to try something new. And finally, you can now have a new game plus, which basically starts when you finish the exploration mode. Then the game will create a new galaxy with an increased difficulty level for you to play. Balancing is not, not really done yet, so it may well be too easy at the beginning and too hard in the end. But um, nevertheless, there is now a challenge to play on if you have, you know, if you have defeated the normal difficulty. Next, we come to things which I have added in the sectors. The first is an evacuation service which you can use. So basically, if your ship gets immobilized for some reason, you can now call in these six friendly rescue ships, which will warp into the sector and which will try to warp you out of the sector. So if you survive this process, you will be transported back to the galaxy map if you are playing the exploration mode and continue with the ship which has been salvaged. And uh, since this is quite a powerful feature, the uses are limited, so you can only use these like two times in each exploration. Next, we have pirate bases, which are pretty much just asteroids with interceptors hovering around them, and they will pretty much attack any ship which comes close. So watch out for these, but you can also use these to your advantage by for example, luring enemy ships into the pirate base's range. Finally, and this is sort of hard to see here, are solar winds, which can be seen by observing how the particle effects move and which will pretty much push anything along its path. So, for example, um, ships, asteroids and other stuff. Okay, the next um, big improvement, which is sort of hard to see in-game, is the bug and metric tracking which I've added. So basically, the game now sends uh, data to one of my servers about crashes which have occurred and about player actions. So for example, if a player ship gets destroyed or if a player ruins a sector or something like this, and in the long run, I will be able to use this data in order to improve the game. So for example, right now I can already see how players tend to die. So for example, how many players um, get destroyed by 
AI enemies, how many get destroyed by asteroids, and so on. So um, in the long run, this will this will allow me to improve the game's balance based on you know, real facts, which I can measure, which will be pretty nice. And um, using this bug tracking, I've also managed to fix a number of bugs, which are relatively rare and which are hard to find otherwise. So, pretty nice. Other stuff which I've done include improved balance and include improved performance, which especially the improved performance would have a pretty big impact if you had, you know, trouble running the game at 30 FPS before. Okay, so this pretty much sums up what I've been done in what I have done in February. Um, next up is mainly beginning to work on the mission modes. So currently the mission mode is still grayed out in the main menu and there are also not many missions which are playable and I will work on this. So um, by the end of March you can expect to ha find a number of new mission types in the exploration mode because I'm guessing you're pretty much sick of playing you know, explore this sector all of the time. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as usual, you can leave comments, suggestions and wishes in the Steam forums or below this video. So, hope to see you guys next time and have fun playing.